So many people at the Warren Family Mission worked today to make sure families could have a nice Thanksgiving meal. First News reporter Chandler Blackman tells us how COVID-19 changed the way that they handed out those meals this year. Today, the Warren Family Mission held their annual Thanksgiving dinner. But unlike the past, this year's dinners were plated to go. We have uh, contact-free deliveries taking place within the community. Uh, we have a team of 40 volunteers here um, preparing meals and delivering those to uh, people in the community that need that Thanksgiving meal. According to Morari, over 1,300 meals were scheduled to go, while over 700 meals were given at the mission. Because of the pandemic, Morari believes this Thanksgiving is tougher than most. In years past, it's especially hard around the holidays to put food on the table. But this year defines a new meaning with new obstacles, new challenges as far as, you know, keeping food on the table even before the big meal. Ahead of the dinner, the mission faced their share of challenges with a shortage of turkeys. But with the help of the community, they were able to meet the demand. When we started the meal, we only had 30. Um, and then once again, we put it out to our community how desperately we needed those turkeys. And we went from 30 to 600 in the matter of days. Around 50 volunteers helped with the meals. 30 of them prepared plates at the mission, while the other 20 made home deliveries. I don't know 99% of these people, but everybody's working together as a team, and it's just, especially during COVID, when everything's really crazy and up in the air, and everybody kind of feels like they're at home and in turmoil, it's just been really cool to come. With Christmas around the corner, the mission is now planning for their toy drive to help over 400 families. In Warren, Chandler Blackman, WKBN 27 First News.